Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use drivers to make a card dismiss interaction. Let's get started. So first off we'll make the artboard background color cyan and we'll add a rectangle that'll be our card. We'll center it and I'm going to hold alt and shift to scale it up and let's name it card so we can keep track of it and I'll change the background color to white. Give it a little radius to make it look nice. All right, so this is all about drivers, so let's show the driver's UI. You'll notice there's nothing going on here. There are no drivers on Artboard 1, but we can change that if we make a layer scrollable or draggable or uh, use a property that doesn't animate. In our case, we're going to use dragging. So you'll see by turning on dragging, we not only make the layer draggable, but we also get a driver channel up here. So drivers work kind of like an animation timeline, except instead of having time go along here, so you might expect these to be like frames or seconds or something. In the case of drivers, this is actually X values. So you can see the card X, if it's a zero, it's there, and then it goes all the way off. Uh, so you'll notice the card X in drivers is based on the center of the layer. So we can use this to keyframe other properties based on the card's X property. So the, uh, the last layer here, or the last row in drivers is uh, just a place that you can use to add new keyframes. So if I select the card layer, you see card appears here. If I select artboard, artboard one appears here. So in our case, we wanna add a keyframe to the card's angle. So I just click on the add keyframe button, click on angle, and now we have a keyframe based on the card X. And right now, nothing happens um, because we only have one keyframe. So you need at least two to make something happen. So we'll just drag this X to some other position, get the card off screen. We'll add a keyframe by clicking the plus button. You can also delete keyframes um, by clicking it again. Uh, as long as the keyframe is under the cursor, you'll be able to delete it. So now that the cursor is over this one, we're going to just change that angle property. So I'm going to drag on the name, change it to about 34 degrees. This corner is coming on screen, so I'm going to drag it so it's a little further. Now you can see as we scrub through here, the layer rotates while its X position changes. And this happens in playback as well. So let's add one more keyframe so that it rotates on the left side of the screen too. So we'll do the same thing just on the other side. We'll drag the layer off. And if you want to be a little bit more precise, instead of dragging this, you could actually just type in values of X. You could say negative 250. And so now this is exactly at the 250 value of X. And remember, this is showing the center of the layer. This is showing the left edge of the layer just keep in mind. So we'll add another keyframe there. We'll change its angle. Let's do negative 34 since the first one was 34. And now it's looking pretty good. So we can drag it and see how that feels. And that's great. Uh, and just real quick detour, if you wanted something else to happen with another layer, um, for example, let's say you had uh, some kind of uh, icon that you wanted to appear as you dragged. Let's just imagine this is the uh, like the to do done logo right here. So we could keyframe its alpha value based on dragging. So we select the layer, see the layer here, and we'll keyframe its opacity. And we'll make that zero. And then as you start to swipe, we'll fade it in. So let's add another keyframe there, make its opacity one. So you'll see it fades in as we drag. So we can try that ourselves. So you can have as many layers as you want keyframed up here and the driver can affect all of them. Um, and drivers are live in the canvas. So just keep that in mind while you're editing. If you start dragging around and strange things happen, it's probably a driver going on up here. So that's the basics of drivers and thanks for watching.